Hello everyone, this is Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today I <clears throat> am not filming a Charm Chatter. Today is going to be the start of a tutorial. Hopefully I'll get through the whole thing today. Um, and I am just going to ask that you bear with me. I am not generally a tutorial filmer. Uh, so I don't know how well it's going to turn out <laughs> as far as videography goes. Um, so please be patient with that. The I'm, the plan is to put the pattern in the description box of this video. So if you um, if the video quality <laughs> drives you crazy, you can just <laughs> I thought I saw someone. Uh, you can just um, you know read the pattern. It will be a free free pattern. As I said, hopefully I will put that in the description box. That that's my plan. <laughs> Um, and what will we be making? We will be making this bowl cozy with handles. Uh, I made one for my granddaughter, Chloe, and uh, I showed it on my channel and people asked for a tutorial. And Chloe's, two of Chloe's friends would like one. So here we go. I will um, show you in detail more about it here in just a second when I turn the camera around. So bear with me just for one minute. Okay, I don't know that I can film without the feet of my camera being in here, so I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to, I guess, bear with that. So this is the bowl cozy, and I did, it, it does carry well in this manner. She, Chloe can carry it with one hand, and she's real happy about that. Of course, she has to be careful not to drop the handles into her soup. Um, now I bought this, I purchased this bowl from Dollar Tree and I did bring a tape measure. It measures about a little over six inches at the top. It is about three inches tall. Here's the three right there. And at the base, it is about three and a half inches. Now, if your bowl is not this size, you will have to adjust your bowl cozy. Um, this is a bowl that I, oh, I got out of my cupboard. Doesn't look all that clean. Sorry about that. I think I need a new dishwasher, guys. I'm really, ugh. Anyway, this bowl measures about six inches wide, but it's very short. It's only two inches tall. And at its base, it is about three to four inches. I'm going to say four inches. So I don't know how well this would work in this bowl cozy. Mine is going to be, you know, Chloe's bowl is a lot taller than my bowl. Um, so the width is good, but I would say if you're going to, if you're going to use a Corel type bowl, I would definitely stop here versus coming up here. Um, but the bottom and everything fits. So you, you know, can you'll easily be able to adjust um, adjust the cozy. And it's it's a pretty simple make. I'm going to start with a magic circle and then you do your basic increases and then up the sides and then make the handles. Um, I think... I don't know, maybe take an hour, hour, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it's not really a hard make. So what did I use? Uh, this I made out of uh, Premier Home Cotton, uh, which this is very similar. This is what I'm going to use now. This is the uh, sugar and cream. And uh, I don't remember what this colorway is in that yarns upstairs. Uh, this one is called Swimming Pool. This is a four weight. Um, I think it's, where is that? Uh, oh, this is 100%, let's see, made in Canada from 100% USA cotton. Uh, I think this one is um, not 100% cotton. I think this is 85% cotton and 15% acrylic. Um, but I did do the microwave test. 
I put it in the microwave. I heated hot water in this bowl for three minutes and everything was fine. Uh, and, and I told Chloe, you put the bowl in the cozy before you put it in the microwave. That way you don't have to touch the bowl, but you can pick it up by the sides. Uh, I know I used a half double crochet to make this and there's holes, but if you grab it, you know, um, let me get it in there. You know, you can easily grab it like this and really not get your hands on the bowl. Um, but carrying it this way is, this is how Chloe carries it. So, uh, anyway, I'm using this, uh, sugar and cream. I'm going to use a, it call, I think it calls for a five and a half. Oh, this calls for a five millimeter. Ooh, I, this yarn called for a five and a half millimeter and I used a six. I'm still going to use my six. <laughs> Um, and I needed some stitch markers, I think five, uh, and then a darning needle to sew in your ends and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. Sure, that's not the end. Let me find the end and I'll get back to you. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to start with a magic ring. Oh, that was not very good. <laughs> That was not a very good magic ring. Let's try that again. Uh, if you don't know how to make one, there's lots of tutorials on uh, YouTube to teach you. I like the magic ring and I use it all the time. Uh, you could chain three and you know, or whatever and do the regular way. Um, you know, the I, I've not done that in so long I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to do, sure I am. Uh, the chain one just so we have some space there and we're going to do six half double crochet in this magic ring so you're going to yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through sure it's not working so well all three so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all through three loops we're going to do that for a total of six times and we're just going to work this in the round. I am having a little difficulty here. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, one more. We're going to go six. Um, I always put a stitch marker. When I'm working in the round, I always put a stitch marker in my last, uh, last stitch. I know most people do the first stitch. I have a hard time with that. <laughs> I don't know why and now I'm going to close it up and I'm going to go into the first stitch with for round this will be round two and we're going this is so the count back one two three four five six this here is your chain one from before so we're not going to do that one we're going into the first just get the top there we go and we're going to do two half double crochet in every stitch so all the way around so at the end you will have a total of 12 half double crochet in this round when you get back to your stitch marker you should have 12 I did put two in that one didn't I yeah so when you get back around in the center as I said I am not generally very tutorial oriented here so now the last two in here where your stitch marker is and then if you wanted to count your little V's back one two three four whoops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we did good and then I'm going to move my stitch marker up Oops. so we're going to kind of do this just like 
every other circular, you know, increasing circular thing that you do that I've ever done through crochet. So now we're going to do one half double in the first stitch. This is going to be round three, and then we're going to do two half double in the next stitch. And that's going to be our pattern for the repeat of this round. One half double in the next stitch, two half doubles in the next stitch. And we're just going to continue to do that until we get all the way around. And back to our stitch marker. If you're more comfortable putting your stitch marker in the first stitch, then by all means do that. Um, whatever works for you is fine and dandy with me. Uh, this does flatten out. <laughs> I tend to be a little bit of a tight crocheter and that being said, my stuff wants to curve. Oh, that's a tour oh goodness don't tell me i screwed it up this one should oh. oh i did look at that got a frog this one needs to i missed that right there and this one gets one and then this last one gets two I do believe every time the last one, oops, gets two. And so at the end of round three, we should have 18 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we're gonna move our stitch marker up and that frog again, yay. Now, I did this um, for six rounds, so now this is starting round four, so we're going to go a half double crochet in the, in one half double crochet in two stitches, then two half double crochet in the next stitch, and then one double crochet in the next two, half double crochet in the next two stitches, then two double crochet in the next. We're going to go and do that all the way around. At the end of round four, you should have 24 half double crochets. So I'm going to let you continue to go two, two stitches, <laughs> one half double crochet in the next two stitches, and two half double crochet in the next for the rest of this round when you get back to your stitch marker stitch marker I will meet you there okay now I'm coming back for my last two stitches and I'm going to move up my stitch marker there should be 24 half double crochets here move my stitch marker up now for row five, I'm going to do the same, same, basically same procedure. We're going to, but we're going to go half double crochet in three stitch, one in each of the next three stitches, one half double in the next three stitches, and then two half doubles in the fourth stitch. So one half double in the next three stitches, one two and three stitches and then we're going to go two half double in the next stitch so again i will meet you back at the stitch marker just continue to put one half double crochet in the next three stitches and two half double in the next stitch at the end of this round when you get to your stitch marker you should have 30 half double crochets and I will see you in just a minute at the stitch marker. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round five. I'm back to my stitch marker. 
the last two stitches go here and again I move up my stitch marker and for round six we're going to go one half double crochet in the next four stitches two three and four and then we're going to go two half double crochet in the next stitch and then the next one will be four half double crochet one one in each stitch two three and four and then we're going to do two in the next stitch so we're going to do this for all the way around the rest of the way and at the end of round six you should have 36 a half double crochet now um, i will continue on with this i want you to continue on with this all the way around till you get to your 36 stitch in your stitch marker now for my bowl this is as far as we're going to go on being round and round and then we're going to start going up after this round if your bowl has a flatter bottom and you need to add more which i don't know why it's like okay you need to add more then feel free to continue to add rows you just add one more stitch before you know one more stitch before you do a double crochet you know two and one again so in this row we're doing four if you were adding another row you would do five stitch single you know five half doubles in a row before you hit the double does that make sense <laughs> let's see this is four so you would do five individual stitches before you would do the the um the two and one and that just so that you're you know so that you lay flat <laughs> like mine doesn't because i crochet way too tight uh but when you put the bowl on there it, it'll flatten it out um so again if you find that you don't need this many rounds um then of course don't make this many you just have to adjust to your bowl size and um it's a very adjustable pattern uh one two three and four so i may as well just finish this row up oh dear did i do something wrong one two three i must have because i i'm not going to end with two here and i really believe that i should well, let me finish it and then i'll count and if i have to frog i will but i do believe every time i'm supposed to end with two going into this last stitch so i was probably talking and i will count and i'll get right back to you okay yep i can't count and talk at the same time <laughs> so i had to uh, frog some of this and now we're back on track and we have 36 half double crochets now i'm going to make um one back post half double crochet in each stitch around back to the stitch marker we're not increasing on this row this is the row that's going to make this little edge right here by doing the back post double crochet so what we're going to do is yarn over we're going to go in from behind the stitch go around the back post or that post pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops so again yarn over go in from the back around pull up a loop again and pull up another loop pull through all of them so from behind and around you go so you yarn over go through behind yarn over and pull up so we're going to do this in every stitch around till we get back to the end of our to our uh, stitch marker at the end you should still have 30 
six half double crochets, but this time they're only in the back loop. So as you can see, well, it might be a little bit hard to see. Um, we are going to be creating that little shift so that it goes up now. All right, so continue to do your half double back loop, half double crochet in every stitch. I will meet you at the stitch marker and you um, should have 36 half double crochets unless you added more or added more rows or took a, a row away. You'll be at whatever stitch count that is for you. Um, if you increased another round, then at the end you would have, I'm going to say 40, uh, I'm going to say you would then have 42 stitches if you went one more round of increases. If you went one less round of increases, you would have 30 half double crochet. Okay, so as I said, I will meet you back at the stitch marker in just a second. Okay, so I'm back to my stitch marker, but I have 35 stitches because I have to go around this half double crochet back post as well. That will be my 36th stitch. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker so it's not in my way. And I'm going to go around this last stitch and make my 36th stitch. And as you can see, we have this little, like it's starting to come up. We can test it out on our bowl, see how it's fitting. This is a, it, it will be a tighter fit because it stretches, um, even though it's cotton, it does stretch when you put the weight of the bowl into it a little bit. It will stretch a little, so it's doing good. It's coming up around here. Now, as you can see, um, my bowl gets a little bit bigger still beyond this. So, and I know I'm already beyond this, but I should have showed you this beforehand. Like our last was just at the edge there. Um, you know, you'll just have to see what works best for your bowl. Um, but now I need it to be a little bit wider. What am I doing here? I'm going this way. Let's put this thing back in. All right, here we go. So I'm going to put my stitch marker back in here. And let's check out how it looks on the bowl, bowl cozy. Now, I did have to stop this video so and restart. So if I am repeating myself here, I'm sorry. It's been a few minutes and I forgot. Um, but if you need your bowl cozy to be bigger, then you will add rounds before you do this um, or smaller and add and take away, you know, the round six and... Um, do round seven in a different spot but see now it's going to come up the sides so now it's a little shy of wanting to come up the sides so now we're going to do uh, in round eight we're going to go back to just regular half double crochets um, but we're going to go uh, in two stitches and then do two half double crochet in the next. That's what worked out for me is you're going to do two, you know, one half double crochet in the next two stitches and then two half double crochet in the next. Well, I'm not very well centered again. Um, yep. So we're going to go all the way around doing that for my bowl. I hope that works out well for your bowl as well. Um, if not, you might have to go, you know, if it's too big, have to go <clears throat> more where we're doing, oops, I just did, did that. Oops, oops, oops. Where we're going one, two single 
stitches and then a double um, maybe you need to go three single stitches and then a double uh, maybe right now I'm doing this one two here um, or maybe you need to do you know more because your bowl really gets wide so you know do whatever is going to work for your bowl this is a very customizable little pattern here um, so anyway I'm doing uh, one half double crochet in the next two stitches and then two half double crochet in the third stitch all the way around and so I will meet you back at the at the stitch marker when I'm done here I should have 48 because I'm adding 12 stitches so I should have 48 half double crochet with any amount of luck otherwise I will have to frog so I will meet you back at the stitch marker because I tend to have a hard time talking and counting even to two. <laughs> I find myself checking every single time. So I'll meet you back at the stitch marker in just a second. Okay, so now I'm back at my stitch marker. I have 48 half double crochets on this round. I'm gonna take my stitch marker and move it up. And now for the, uh, this is row eight. So for row nine, 10, 11, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So for the next six rows on my bowl, I'm going to just do one half double crochet all the way around for six rounds. I could do five rounds um, because as you could see in my bowl, this does come up over the sides. Uh, you know, so I could probably do maybe even, instead of six, I could do five, maybe even four, because then we do some single crochets. But it makes it a nice handle to do it. And then just open your bowl to eat, take it down, whatever you want. Um, Chloe's happy with this the way this works. So I'm going to stick with what works. And... Um, but you can do what you want if you want yours to come just to here, which maybe I'll try that just to see and and not do as many rounds and just have it go to there and have the handles up over. What do you think? Do it how you like. I'm going to go five rounds instead of six on this blue one and just see how that works. So I will meet you back when you are to the top of your bowl. Um, that's when I'll come back on me. That's going to be five or six rounds and I'll see you then. Okay. Just please remember that as you're going around for your side rows, we're not doing any more increases in these rows. It's just for me, it's 48 stitches all the way around. Um, I just completed round three. Well, <laughs> my third round of just 48 stitches of uh, third round of my sides um which would really be i guess around 10 then no round 11. um well still i'm going to do the pattern actually says six rounds i'm gonna try five for this one just to see if you know show you what it looks like see if it's better or worse we'll let the kids decide when they're using it um I want to have this done today so that Chloe can pick it up over the weekend because it is the weekend now and take it to her friends. So anyway, I will meet you back at probably another round and a half <laughs> and we'll continue on from there. But just remember one single, you know, one in each stitch, no increases here. Unless your bowl, bowl calls for it, of course. If your bowl continues to, you know, get wider and wider or whatever you, as a fancy, you know, comes out further or something uh, and you need to go wider, then of course do so. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so now I have done five rows and not six, like I said, and I am back to my stitch marker. So per the pattern, this is going to be row 15, but really it's my row 14. 
But, you know, it works whatever works for you. Um, I'm going to put my stitch marker back. And now for this round, we're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch around. Just to give it, a, like it tightens it up a little bit, gives it a nice little bordering edge. We're, and there's actually going to be, parts of it are going to have more than one edge. But we're, So you just um, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And we're just going to do this on every stitch all the way around. Um, so you should still have, in my case, 48 stitches in yours, depending on how big a round you have to go with your bowl. Um, that same stitch count that you've been having in the past, you should still continue to have right now. And we're just going to go around one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to our stitch marker, uh, which will be just a second. Hopefully. <laughs> and I'll meet you back there. I won't make you watch me do half. Uh, well, I won't. Whoops. I won't make you watch me do single crochets around this border. <laughs> okay. See you in a sec. Okay. I just put my 48th single crochet in. I'm going to move up my stitch marker. Now we're going to start to put the handles on. Um, so you will need additional stitch markers, four of them. Uh, so here are mine. I do have some very beautiful stitch markers that people have made for me. Um, but I like these little clippy ones, um, because if I use the ones people made for me, I'm afraid somebody will be like, oh, how come she didn't use mine? <laughs> Uh, so these ones, nobody's hurt. Feelings will get hurt. Uh, so now in this round, I have 48 stitches. You may not have 48 stitches. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to determine what is our halfway point. In this case, 24 stitches is half of 48. You want your handles to be across from each other. I did not want to start my stitch count at the join of the circle. Um, I thought it would be confusing, particularly for tutorial purposes. So I'm going to crochet over and go. Um, so I'm going to crochet over seven stitches. Uh, so let's see. Single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now in this seventh stitch, I'm going to place a single, I'm going to place a stitch marker. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I want you to go around and count in your, I'm not crocheting over. I think I do crochet over. Yes. Uh, in the seventh stitch, you needed to put a stitch marker. And then we're going to go 10 stitches over and put a stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this should be the 17th stitch. It gets a stitch marker. Yep. We were supposed to do this as we were single crocheting. <laughs> Forgot. Um, now we're going to go into the 31st stitch. So this should be the 17th, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 gets a stitch marker and 10 from there, which would be the 41st stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gets your last stitch marker. Um, and this is just for placement. So then again, you are going to go single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker. So put a seventh crochet in that stitch, single crochet. And um, now there's 10 stitches here, but I'm going to chain 15 to make my handle. Because I want it to be a little bit longer than this. You can chain more than that if that's what's comfortable for you. 
Um, but that's what's comfortable for me. So I came over the seven so that I wouldn't be interrupting here. I'm still going to be halfway across. My little thingies are halfway across. My thing folds in half nicely. So it'll be evenly balanced. Um, because you can pick your center from anywhere on a circle, right? So, but I'm going to crochet, I'm going to just chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then I'm going to come over here and I am going to slip stitch to join in my stitch marker. And then I'm also going to single crochet in there because I wanted a little bit um come on <laughs> I want it a little bit thicker then I'm going to single crochet all the way over to this next stitch marker and we're going to do the same thing and we don't need this stitch marker anymore we can get rid of it so we are going to just continue to single crochet in each stitch across I really like the way this yarn is working up. It's really pretty. When you get to your stitch marker, once again, you're going to go into that stitch and then you're going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. I'm going to get rid of that stitch marker. I'm going to come into where this stitch marker is. We're going to pull that stitch marker out. Oops, <laughs> don't crochet into it. Uh, we're going to pull this stitch marker out. We won't need it anymore. We're going to slip stitch to join right here. And then we are going to single crochet there for added strength and stability. Now we're going to single crochet all the way around. And this is our start. We can move our stitch marker up. We really don't need the stitch marker anymore either. Um, but I'm going to put it back in anyway. <laughs> yes, we do. We need to know where to end. Duh. <laughs> Duh, Lynette. Okay, so we're going to move that stitch marker up. And now I'm going to continue to single crochet all the way back around to my handle. My first handle. Oh, so I was telling you, so you get to the halfway point, which would have been 24 stitches, wherever I pick it from, and I want to have 10 here. So I'm going to go halfway point, 5 this way, 5 this way. That's why I have 7 and then 17. Um, and I don't need this any longer. So now I'm going to single crochet 15 times around here. You can, I'm going to go into this stitch right here. Do you see it? I'm going to do that again for added strength and stability I'm going to go right into that stitch it's a little bit difficult now I could go through and do like the back loops and all of that well, I normally always go into the back loop of a chain I don't uh, chain in the front but I'm just going to go around these and I'm going to do loosely 15 and then you can just spread them out you can do more if you want um if you want it to be tighter, fuller, uh, with no ability to move it around, um, uh, you know, whatever works for you, this way works. And it's faster than trying to make it all nice and, you know, in each stitch. 
one, I don't count, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. Like I said, if you wanted to add more, you can. You don't have to um, because you can just spread them out, which is what I did. Um, and it's fine. But if you're more comfortable adding more, go for it. Then I'm going to Go back into this stitch um, for more strength again. What am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go back into the stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in every stitch again, all the way around, every stitch you can find. Just single crochet away and repeat this on the next side of the handle. Then single crochet all the way around back to your stitch marker. You can um, add more rows if you want to. Um, you can also, if you feel the need, um, let me come back in here. And I'm going to go back into this stitch. Um, so when you get to here, you could go across here and around again if you wanted it to be a thicker handle. And then um, you know, do it twice. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> the skinnier handle is fine for me. Uh, two, three, four. This is thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And then again, I'm just going to spread them out. Um, or like I said, you can add more. Whatever whatever floats your boat. I, I just didn't add more. Um, Chloe was here yesterday when I was doing this part on the red one. And she's like, no, nah, it's fine. I didn't really remember what I did with hers. But I think this is what I did. Uh Come on, get over there, get over there, get over there. The red spread a little easier than this blue is spreading for me. Okie dokie. So, yep, we're not all the way down there yet. Come on now, it's stuck on something. Oh, heck, I'll just add a couple more. It doesn't really matter. So, there. If you don't want to fight with it, just add more. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to go back into this stitch down here and single crochet. Yeah, sure I am. Now, like I said, if you wanted to like go backwards and come around here and do that again, go, you know, however to make it work. Or cut your yarn and, you know, make your handle thicker. I personally am not doing that. One of the things I like about this pattern is that you never have to cut your yarn. <laughs> less ends to weave in. So now I'm going continue single crochet back to my stitch marker. Now I'm going to have more stitches. Um, if you count the handles, you should have, if you go just 15 in each, you should have 10 more stitches than we had before the handles. You should have with the handles. Um, but let's see how this fits on our bowl. With any, because I didn't do as many rounds. 
you know, you don't want it too loose so that the bowl is sloshing around in there. So, and yes, the other bowl I have is red. Both bowls are red. Chloe picked the blue yarn, though, or, or burnt orange or whatever this is. So this is how this one fits. I do think that I might like it a little better with the extra, even though it won't fall in as easy. Um, having an extra round does not hurt. But this is fine with the not extra round. It will stretch, you know, with the heat and the uh, heaviness of the product inside. So we're going to leave this just the way it is. Um, I'm going to just slip stitch down into here, chain one, and grab my handy dandy scissors, cut your yarn so you can weave in your ends, use your darning needle, weave in your ends, and ta-da, you are done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you do indeed make some bowl cozies, I would love to see pictures. Just go ahead and put them on my Facebook group page would be fabulous. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. Um, and as I said, I would love to see anything that you make. I will put the written pattern in the description box. Uh, it is not tested. We just tested. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> this is the third one I made. I think it's okay. Uh, if you find that there are like major errors in something that I typed or in something that I said or did, please let me know. I'm really not a pattern writer uh, and I'm definitely not a tutorial maker. But this wasn't too bad. Uh, it worked out okay. So maybe I will, if I come up with another idea uh, that needs a tutorial, maybe I will do another one someday. So again, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing. This is how much yarn I have left of this. Um, now I'm going to say not enough to do a second one. And I didn't tell you how many yards are on this little skein, uh, this little ball. Two ounces, 56 grams, approximately 95 yards. So it took less than 95 yards. But I'm going to tell you there's not enough to do another one. So enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.